What I'm wondering is to go a little bit further into the depths of this, for those who have this feeling, these sensations of this doesn't feel right, this feels like pain, indoctrination, punishment, hurt, torment, loss, not community, not love, not joy, not the things that you felt in that moment when you're like, this is what I need to step into, but instead the opposite, mm -hmm. they're in constant fear of damnation. And even though they follow all the rules, it's so toxic, which is a word I really don't like to use. But in this case scenario, I agree with it's so toxic that they feel like they would much rather for many people be dead than be in the religion any longer. Like, mm. how does one remove themselves from this in a safe and healthy way, if that is even a possibility? Yeah. So first, just to address your point about religious, I'm not into bashing religion either. I think there are wonderful churches out there doing incredible and great things. This is just a particular form of theology that is discussed in such a way by preachers frothing at the mouth with venom and anger and mm. not working through their own trauma and their own pain and hurt people. And they're not yes. dealing with the wounded exiles within themselves. And so, yeah, I, that's where it's coming from. But it, there's definitely healthy spirituality. There's other people who can read the biblical text and look at the different genres, can look at the Adam and Eve story and glean things from that for our own context without needing to read it in a hyper literal framework. That's one point. But as far as people getting out of this, it's so layered because there's different people. Like I work with people, let's say, who are pastors and leaders in the church. Now, when your paycheck is tied to maintaining status quo, but within your heart, you know that it's incongruent with your current value system that's so tricky to get out of that. 